One way of finding the images uh, that occur for an object for a converging and for a diverging lens uh, is ray tracing. Uh, there are three principal rays that we can use to find the image. The first one uh, are parallel rays. Uh, they go through the focal point. So for the converging lens, this means A ray that is parallel will go through the focal point on the right. Actually, this is why it's called a converging lens, as it converges parallel rays uh, on the right side. For the diverging lens, it works quite similar. However, the parallel ray is not going through the focal point on the right, but through the one on the left. So it's just virtually going through the focal point. There's no real light on the left side. So I'm drawing it dotted here. And then it goes like this. So here the light is diverging, parallel light is spreading out in different directions, while here the parallel rays converge, they come together. Now the second type of rays that we can look up is kind of the inverse of the one that we just did. Any ray through the focal point will become parallel. So on the left side, for the converging lens, we're using the left focal point and this ray will become parallel. For the diverging lens, we do the same thing as before. We use the other focal point as the one we use for the converging. So here we use the left one, that means here we're using the right focal point. So a net a ray that is aimed at the right focal point, like this, will become parallel. And then backtracking it where we think it comes from when we look through the lens from this side. Then there is a last array that we can use. Uh, that is one that goes through the center, just goes straight through. Actually, you only need two rays to find the image, but if you have a third one, that can confirm the location of the image. So that is actually the easiest one. One that goes through the center of the lens does not change direction at all. So one that goes through the center of the lens, here's the center, does not change direction at all. Same thing here, one that goes through the center of the lens, does not change direction at all. Now in both cases, we just found the image. The image is where all the rays meet again. So here in the case of the converging lens, for an object that was placed behind the focal point, I got a real image, real because the rays really meet here, and it's upside down. In case of the diverging lens, where do my three rays appear to me? They appear to me here. I'm looking from this side. I'm seeing them coming all from this point. So what I see is an image here behind the lens. So it's a virtual image, but the light doesn't really come from there. Like these two rays just appear to be coming from this direction. So for the diverging lens with an object on the left side of the focal point, I got a virtual image here.